Pennsylvania Railroad Bridge. Tugboat is Otter, as in Barge Otter. It's owned by Queemans Marine Transport. Spelled like Coemans, but pronounced Queemans. In theory, this is the second barge otter I've seen on the canal in two weeks. Mother's Day, I saw a barge otter. Excitement on the Erie Canal. Well, I'm at lock 33. I miss the barges on the barge canal. I'm to catch it between Edgewood and Winton Road. It appears that they are locking through right now. Genesee High Falls Brewing Company had to get new tanks. They are approximately 60 feet long and 20 feet high. 20 feet diameter. Too big to ship by road. So they're using the Erie Canal to ship the barges with the tanks. Pretty spicy, huh? Yeah. This is Edgewood Avenue Lock 33. I parked way up at Clover Street, Lock 32, and missed it coming through. This is the Barge Canal section of the Erie Canal. They renamed the Barge Canal, the Erie Canal, around 1980 for historic reasons. In 1978-77 we took a canoe trip from Pittsburgh to Rome, New York and caught the last commercial traffic on the Barge Canal with petroleum products and cement barges. Today, the barges are back. Oh, yeah. Let me move over to give you room. <laughs> Don't move over too far. Well, you can help me out. There's a boat hook here. I fall in, there's a boat hook. Oh, I see. Uh, I'll, I'll grab you by the scruff of the neck. Scooch over. There's room. I just hang. 1978 or 77, we took two canoes down to Rome, New York, along the oh, canal. Okay. And we caught the last really big commercial traffic petroleum barges. 78, you said it was? Yeah. Right. It was called the Barge Canal back then. Well, yeah. Before they renamed it Erie Canal. So it's nice seeing. <laughs> Don't back up quick. It is nice seeing a uh, barge coming through the lines. Yeah, it's kind of fun. My great-grandfather helped construct it, so it's so cool to see it being utilized. That, that trip in 78, we talked to some of the guys that worked on the canal, and they had stories. The barge canal, and they built it. They were still alive. 
one kid was a young kid, he was a water boy. Oh yeah. And we met him at a marina. These are the only two locks we didn't go through, the ones we started out at. The rest we all went through with canoes. It's pretty daunting. Oh, I would imagine. I would imagine. I used to see some pretty small boats years back going through this one. Back in the 60s, my dad used to bring us here to this lock just to give mom a break. So she I was told they left three of the bar three of the tanks in Macedon because of the curves in the canal. I think there's actually nine of them. They're gonna drop these off in gates and go back to the ones in Macedon. They've got another shipment coming. I don't know, next week, I don't know. Oh no, it's already there. In Macedon? Yeah. There's uh four tons all full. about 10.07 a.m. Monday, May 30th, 2017. The barges are using the barge canal again. This is Mark Ant's email signing off. I have to walk back to Route 65. All right. I left my car on Clover Street. We're almost back to lock 33. We'll pick up my car. These are the wide waters, just west of lock 33. That wreckage you see there are wooden barges, boats, scows with machinery still attached from the original barge canal construction. In the winter months when they drain the canal this is a big mud flat and more wreckage is exposed when the water is lower. Okay, I gotta go back to Clover Street, pick up my car, see if I can ambush the barge again. Goodbye. This is Mark Cant email. This is the Genesee River. That is a barge canal on the east side of the Genesee River. Those are three tanks from the Genesee Brewery on one barge. They left two barges in Macedon because of the congestion twist turns on the canal. They had a total of nine tanks on three barges. They're going to unload these somewhere in Gates. I'm in Gates now. And then go back for the other two barges. We may see this again. These are three tanks. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of seats. You can look and see the clearance under that bridge. Yeah, there are some big turns. They're supposedly 20 feet in diameter and 60 feet long. The news said they hold 2,000 barrels of beer. In the distance beyond 
the arch bridge. Our two locks that shut off the canal from the river in the winter time. The Barge Canal was renamed the Erie Canal and it's been used mostly as a recreational waterway since the late 70s. So this is unique because we've got commercial traffic, a barge is on the Barge Canal, the Genesee tanks are crossing the Genesee River. Um, it is three miles approximately from here north to the left of your picture to the Ford Street Bridge. There was a port at Rochester that used to uh, they had a dock there and it was a port facility. The level of the river and the canal is controlled by the Court Street Dam. The level of the canal is about 512 feet plus three tenths of a foot normally and it is controlled by the Court Street Dam. So we've got another three and a half miles of the canal to our left. around 11 o'clock Tuesday May 30th 2017 I guess you could say this is a historic crossing of the Genesee River by the Genesee brewery tanks The outfit is out of Queemans. Queemans Marine Transport. Pennsylvania Railroad Bridge. Tugboat is Otter, as in Barge Otter. It's owned by Queemans Marine Transport. Spelled like Coemans, but pronounced Queemans. In theory, this is the second barge otter I've seen on the canal in two weeks. Mother's Day, I saw a barge otter.